Welcome to the Teen Butterfly Effect All Hands Call. It is Friday, the 4th of September, and ah, it's a new month, fall, or I guess fall for, for us parents out there is officially in full swing because we've sent our kids back to school. Ah, wonderful. Um, it is upcoming as Labor Day weekend, so there's, I know a lot of people in different areas maybe don't actually get back to full swing until after Labor Day, so um, it's coming up. So if you've been having a hard time keeping your schedule, if you've been having a hard time keeping the kids entertained so you can work or get your shit done, oops, I just, I did not mean to guess on the call, um, I, then hopefully, hopefully you are now getting into a better swing of things now that it's that time of year. So hopefully so, fingers crossed. Um, second of all, I, I want to give a shout out to Team Distilled um, because Team Distilled was, I, I think it was may, maybe the only Team Cup group out of all of Team Butterfly Effect who qualified for the Tier 1 prize. So I have to give a shout out to everybody who is on Team Distilled for that group because even my my group didn't get the team the first tier prize anyway. We had fun doing it. So yeah, so so you're welcome, Jill, for, for giving you Heather for the group. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, to help you with those success club points. So I think I think you guys had it in the bag anyway. You guys had a really strong working team. So shout out there. Um, also wanted to just kind of rem a quick reminder for those of you who um, have been considering doing the school day shape up challenge. The deadline is this weekend to get your people in and committed, including yourself. And I just want to let you know, like I'm in it. Like I've already registered. I want. I'm on it like Donkey Kong because. Why? I, I'm just going to be real. You know, for those of us who have been on our fitness journey for several years and don't necessarily have a big weight loss goal or anything like that, sometimes sometimes it can be really challenging to really stay completely focused on your wellness. Um, like, I know for me, wine is that magical thing. I can have it in or I can have it out. If I have it in, I'm maybe carrying a couple extra pounds, but I'm okay with that generally because I'm not severely overweight. But if I drop the wine out, I can get shredded and get lean really fast. And, and is it necessarily a goal of us of Beachbody coaches to be ripped? No, we're here all about leading more healthy, fulfilling lives, right? But sometimes it's fun just to test the body and to see what it can do. And I don't know about you guys, but knowing that I have an opportunity to like win a pot at the end just makes it more fun. Um, I know I can stick to it for 21 days if I know I have a, a potential of maybe to win some money at the end. So I would love to see everybody in our team participate. If you're interested, um, give me a run for your money. Give me a run for my money. I want to have competitors to compete against. Um, also, it's a great, for, for maybe some of your people, it might be a, a fun thing for them to be a part of as well. Um, maybe you have some people who are really highly competitive um, and mon money motiva motivated, so um, they might be interested. But the deadline is this weekend, so everybody needs to get registered this weekend, okay? Um, and if you have people in the group, please, 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 please do me a favor and post in the Team Butterfly Effect page and tag me or send me a private message so I know because I'm going to have to go through all of the verifications for everybody on um, on Monday, I believe. I'm going to have to be going through that and making sure that um, everybody has already put in their bet. So let's move on with a chunk of the call. I am going to take a quick sip of water. And today we're talking about the five-step in, invite process. And I know everybody who's on this call um, live right now are all experienced coaches, so you've probably heard me do this a million times. However, um, I know we have a lot of new coaches in, in, on the team, and I know me personally, I have had a conversation literally I think three or four times this week, this exact same conversation. People are like, well, I'm going through training, but how do I start, like, what do I say to people? So I've... I've literally done this personally with a couple different people this week, so I decided, you know what, if I'm doing this individually, probably there's a lot of people who need to hear this too. So let's dive into it. I'm gonna share a screen. I'm gonna give a, I'm gonna give a presentation 
but then I'm also going to show you where you have tools um, to be able to access this in our team page. So, move this down here so maybe you can see this better. Okay, um, real quick, I want to just get a quick head nod from, I can still j see Jill Leptoski. Jill, can you see my screen? Yeah, okay, good. All right, I'm going to minimize all your faces so it doesn't show up on the window. So Team Butterfly Effects All Hands Call, it is Friday, September 4th, and today we're talking about the five-step invitation process. So the main thing is, guys, is you're not expected to reinvent the wheel, okay? This has actually been proven. It works. Do it and make your life easier. So here are the steps. We're going to streamline everything for you guys. Five steps to invite success. Step one, hello, invite people. You got to invite that, invite them. So this is going to make more sense later when you see my document, but instead of going back and forth, let's just talk this out. So what does invite mean? It means you're going to invite them to whatever you got going on. So you can be inviting them to a shake and share. You can be inviting them to a clean eating. You can be inviting them through, um, and for a 21 day group that you have going on, you can be inviting them to a fit club that you have coming up. You can be, um, so there are, so those are a lot of different things you can be inviting people to. You can invite them to take a look at the um, business opportunity. You can invite them to try Shakeology. And primarily there are two ways of inviting. There is mass inviting and there is direct inviting. Now, when I say mass inviting, I am not talking about mass messaging people. Please do not do it. Don't do it. Don't mass message people. But how you mass invite is a post, right? It's a post. I like to call that that you're net. You're going out fishing. You're, you're throwing out a line. You're seeing what you catch, you see what you pull back, right? So to give you an example of that, if you were, um, if you were say doing, if you're, if you're wanting to see some of the people here, I know sometimes I like to see all your faces, I'll put this here just so you can see. Um, so if, if you were doing a, I'm just gonna say the, the school day shape up, Okay, I'm just going to use that for an example because we had we had um, invites for that. Or no, actually, I'm just going to do a generic 21 21 day fix challenge group. So what I would do is I would send out an invite to someone that says, um, "Hey, Trisha," and I would first start out by saying something personal. Start by saying something personal. You don't want to just go into the generic invite because believe me, the next step is generic, right? It's something you can copy and paste. So um, what I would do first is I would go to Trisha's Facebook page and I would look to see what has she posted lately? Or maybe does she have a picture of her family or her kids, um, maybe in her profile picture with her or maybe on her banner? Because I want to ask her something about, I want to ask her something that she's very passionate about that she's going to want to reply apply to me and talk to me about even if she's not interested in the challenge okay so she knows that I'm reaching out to her personally so say I would maybe see a picture of um, on her right on her Facebook page uh, she maybe just posted a picture of the girls first day of school so I would maybe start out by saying hey Trisha I was just on your page and I saw a picture of the girls first day of school OMG they are so stinking cute how old are they now and what grade are they going into? I would, and then I like to make my invite a, by the way, a B T W dot, 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 by the way, or my other favorite line is transitionary line is random, but dot, dot, dot. 
okay? And I'll throw in the invite. Why do I say, by the way, a random but and then invite? Um, because it lets, it, it makes them feel that I didn't just reach out to them to try to sell them something. That I was, or I always say, I was just on your page and. So it makes them feel like I was searching out their page to see how they were anyway. And then, then oh, well, I was on your page. So by the way, I have this going on. So it, it really makes them feel more valued as a person rather than you just trying to sell to them. So then my invite would be what I would cut and paste. So it would say something like, um, my next 21 day virtual nutrition and account nutrition and fitness accountability group starts in two weeks. Um, would you like more information? And that's it. Like, it's like, two sentences and that's it. It's not some big, long, lengthy thing of what I got gone on. However, if you are a new coach and you don't feel like you have a reputation at this point, as far as um, people already know that you're a coach and you got stuff going on and you're doing accounting groups all the time, maybe you add in another sentence that says something like this. Um, did you know a random but, did you know that I started my wellness journey or my fitness journey X number of months ago. And in that amount of time, I've had X results. And I'm super excited about the idea of paying it forward and helping other people the way my coach has helped me. I'm co-coaching, you can always say co-coaching, right? Because you don't want them to feel like you're treating yourself like the expert because you're new, right? I'm co-coaching a 21 day fitness and nutrition accountability group with my coach. Um, would you like more information? And that's it. So start with something personal about them, a question of something going on in their personal life that you've seen on social media, or maybe you just remember from talking to them randomly. Start out with a question because they will want to reply to it. You put in the meat of the invite, like a by the way statement, and then you end with the question of would you like more info? That's step one. Step two is why. So if they reply back and they say, yes, I'd like more information, the next step is why do you want more information? Here's the thing, guys. We are emotional beings who just, who make emotional decisions and justify it with logic. Okay, so if you just had, a, if a person just said, yes, I'd like more information, and you just vomit on them, okay, we're going to be doing the 21-day fix, here's, the, the, it's, this is the program, we're going to be drinking Shakeology, and you literally give them all the information, the price, everything, all ca caboodle, and then what do they come back with? Oh, man, that's really more money than I was looking to spend right now, so I don't think so right? At that point, you have, you have no objections except that they don't want to spend the money. Well, you don't even know why they were interested in the first place, right? So you always want to then go out and find Mom. out why. Um, why are they interested? Someone is in here and not muted. Oh, I'm going to mute you, Kristen. No worries, girl. I got it. Okay. Um, so you always want to find out then why they're interested, to find out their psychology, to find out the difference between them. So say, for example, you ask them, why are you interested? This is what I say. Always this is what I say now because I find that it works. Awesome. I am so glad you're interested. But before I give you all the information, I need to know why you're curious or why you're interested. Um, because the more I know about your physical goals and your current life situation, the more I can serve you. I'm going to say that line again because it works really well for me right now. The more I know about your physical goals and current life situation, the more I can serve you. So you're not just asking their goals, you're also asking about their life situation because at that point in time, you might find out that they, that they have this really flexible schedule. Maybe a 30-minute program isn't necessarily what they need. I mean, maybe they would love and thrive on a program like P90X or something that that's longer. And if you just go into it assuming that everybody needs something quick and easy, 
then you may not be serving them to the best of your ability, okay? So you're asking them why. Oh, and also you want to get past the surface level why. You may want to ask why more than one time. So say, for example, um, if you would have asked me to an accountability group, oh gosh, had you met Aubrey 20 years ago, how old have I been 20 years ago? Oh, not 20 years ago. 15 years ago, had you met me 15 years ago when I was 30 pounds heavier um, and asked me, did I want to take part in your accountability group? And I said, yes. And you said, why? I would have probably said, um, because I want to lose weight. And had you stopped there, it might have been hard to combat all the money issues for me because at that point in time, I was young, you know, I was right out of college. I didn't have much money. Um, the idea of spending 140 or $150 or $160 on something for my nutrition or my wellness probably would have been hard sale. But had you asked why, uh, you know, I just, I, I, I want to lose some weight. Had you asked me why, I would have said, well, I gained 30 pounds when I went to college and I don't really feel great in my own skin anymore. Okay, well, um, why is it important to you to feel good in your own skin? Well, because, um, you know, I'm, I've never really felt that confident in my own skin, and it's really important to me to lead a healthy life. Well, why is it in health? Why is it important to you to lead a healthy life, Aubrey? Well, to be honest with you, um, my grandmother died of diabetes, and my other and my grandmother also had open heart surgery, and both of my grandmothers were so obese. I never played with them. My grandmothers lived and died and never played with me on the floor because my grandmothers were too obese to get down on the floor with me. My grandmothers were too obese to walk without a walker. My grandmothers were too so obese, they had their knees replaced many times um, over. I have many aunts and uncles who have diabetes. I have many aunts and uncles who have high cholesterol. I have many aunts and uncles and cousins who I don't anticipate to live long enough to see grandparents to see them having grandchildren. So do you see, you see what I'm saying, guys? It's like, had you just asked me that first why, I just want to feel better in my own skin, $140 still might not, it still might have been too much. But had you dug all of that out to me, dug all of that out of me, kept asking why, 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 why? Like if you feel like it's still pretty just all about vanity and you haven't really gotten down to something deep, I would say keep going. Although I, I won't deny it, there are going to be some people who literally just want to feel better naked and that's okay. That's okay. But if they just want to feel better naked, guess what? They probably, some, they probably don't feel good naked now and so there's probably some intimacy lacking in their relationships because they're not feeling good in their own skin. So if you would have just kept digging, 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 you could eventually come out, well, I just want to feel good in my own skin. Well, why is that? Well, because I, I don't feel attractive with my spouse. So how does that affect your relationship? Well, I find myself not wanting to be intimate with him as much because I don't feel good about myself. And, and, and you, intimacy is very important in long lasting relationships. So it's about getting down to that emotional aspect for people of why they really want to change their lives because they might not have even thought about this guys. They might have not even thought about it because a lot of people are just on that surface. They don't always dive down deeper. So that's your job to dive down deeper with them. Oh, I skipped a step. Bring this down here. Okay, so step three is acknowledge why and share details. Okay, so you always want to acknowledge them for being brave, for sharing those things with you. Um, you always want to acknowledge them for that. And then literally sh share the details. So tell them everything that's going on. You can do this in step three over the computer, or you can get on the phone and talk with them. That's completely up to you. But um, I share a video of the program that we've outlined for them. We, I share um, a clip of Shakeology and literally lay it all out. So I'm gonna show you guys those details in just a second. And after that, I always set up a phone conversation. Mainly, guys, I, for me, 
if they can't get on the phone, that's okay, and we'll go back and forth via messenger. But I found it's so much easier and so much faster to get them committed and just be done with it if you get them over the phone, okay? If you get them on the phone. Going back and forth sometimes takes weeks, right, of being able to actually get your messaging in. But if you can just ask them, once you get a yes, once they know the price, I always tell them this, you have a couple different ordering options. Is there any way we can talk on the phone instead of going back and forth via messenger? And then at the end of your decision, no, you already know it's going to cost $140. I can talk you through the process so you can actually order the product. So I get them on the phone and I don't get off the phone with them until they've ordered their challenge pack and I talk them through it talk them through it step by step. So let me um, circle back around guys. Uh, after the why, I sometimes ask more questions that aren't just about their why, that are maybe about, um, maybe about their, their body or their, yeah, so give ordering, give ordering options for retail or coach. Okay, that's what you do with them on the phone. Um, minute actually so this all makes sense I'm now going to oh screen sharing is stopped I want to screen share some more hold on I'm going to show you guys where you can find this so if you go to Facebook and you go to our team butterfly effect page You can actually find, X these out here so you can see, in our file section, gosh dang it guys, I'm sorry, I got a lot of tabs open here. Come on, let them be able to see this. Too many tabs. Okay, so as you go to our Team B page, you can see this file section. And in the file section, as you can see, let's find, so here is, I have this all 21 day fix invite steps. Now I highly encourage you to save this, tweak it, make it yours because this sounds like me. I wrote it, right? So this sounds like me. If any of it doesn't sound like verbiage that you would use, change it. Okay, so I made this a long time ago, so I may not say this anymore. A brand new home workout program just got released to, called the 21 Day Fix. Um, it specializes in taking the thinking out of portion control, blah, 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 right? I might just say, I've been doing this program, the 21 Day Fix. I've had such great results. Um, I'm, I'm starting a new group soon. Would you like more info? If you want to use this the way it is, that's your own prerogative. Um, I maybe wouldn't say brand new because it's not brand new anymore. I would just maybe say, have you heard of the 21 day fix? Okay. So literally just take that first line that I have in there and say, change it to, have you heard of the 21 day fix? It specializes in taking the thinking out of portion control, literally using color coded Tupperwares. If you can fit it into the container, you can eat it. The system is combined with 21 days of 30 minutes or less low impact workouts. I'm looking to coach five people through the group. Um, are you interested in more info? So step two, I'm so excited to work with you closer before I give you the details. Why are you interested in this group? The more I know, the more I can help. Is there anything more you'd like to share? So that's what I used to say. I do say now the more I know about your physical goals and life situation. Um, that's the way my invite process has changed just ever so slightly. Um, but you can use it exactly the way I have it listed here, or you can use that other line that I put. Okay, this is the part I want you to see. Um, I have in all of the information, guys, look, step three. It says, wow, you insert your name. I totally understand. I have no doubt this challenge group will help you. Then you repeat the, what you, the meat that you got to for their why. I'm sure this will help you lose weight so you can feel better naked, so you can look better naked, so you can up the intimacy with your husband in order to have a long, happy marriage. Um, you made a great, 
uh, you've made a great choice to take a look. And so literally, guys, as you scan down and through, you can see I have the commitment is follow the 21 day fix program calendar and I have it listed out the program calendar. I have Shakeology and I tell what Shakeology is and I have a link for the video. Um, I tell them we'll follow the meal plan that comes with it. It's a closed accountability group and you can do everything at home no interactions. I have in here the investment is between free and 160 because see if they already have everything, like if there's some random person that I don't know that they were already a Beachbody customer with somebody else, I may let them in my group for free. Heck, I have a girl right now, one of my neighbors, who's in my group right now for free because she bought uh, T25 and Shakeology, a challenge pack from somebody a year ago and never did it. So I let her get in my challenge group. It's for free, but she has already switched over to have me as a coach. She's already sent in the information to switch over to have me as a coach. So I know when she's ready, she's going to be my customer now. Okay. Um, and knowing this information will help give you the, give me the final price. So once you get ready to get started, I hope to hear from you soon. Once you get a yes, I have right here that I I like to set up a phone call with people. I like to set up a phone call with people mainly because um, I'm good on the phone. I think most of us are. People can hear my genuine um, authenticity, my passion, my experience through my voice, through the phone. And me personally, I have a tendency because I'm just trying to get shit done on the computer to sometimes be, come across short via messenger or text. So I feel like my, my passion and my energy and my love for what we do comes across on the phone. And so it's easier that way. Then I'm not also going back and backtracking and wondering when are they gonna sign up? When are they gonna buy their item? Like I get them on the phone and I don't get off the phone until they see a confirmation screen. Because before, in the past, I've, um, you know, just led them to the credit card information and then they had buyer's remorse or something, or the credit card didn't go through right at first, and then like, I'll oh, screw it, you know? And, and, and then it didn't happen, so I don't get off the phone until they purchase thing, purchase the program. Um, another thing, write this down if you need help with it in your invite process. This is one other step I've added um, after step two, after I found out their why. I ask for more details. I ask this, do you have any in injuries or allergies? Injuries or food allergies I need to know about. Why do I ask them that? Because if they blew out their knees a couple years last year and they had their knees replaced last year, they probably don't need to do Insanity or Max 30. I mean, they could. They could follow the mod mod modifier, but we have other options that are better for them than that. Um, if they have food allergies and if they're allergic to shell shellfish, guys, guess what? They can't drink Shakeology. Shakeology is processed in a plant that also processes shellfish, and even though they go through the whole cleansing system, I mean, some people are so freaking allergic to shellfish that it's like they smell it and it makes them puff up, right? The last thing you wanna do is sell product to somebody who's gonna end up having a crazy allergic reaction to it. You know, they're gonna end up in the hospital. So I always ask that question, do you have any, any injuries or allergies? And then I also ask too, do you have, do you struggle with portion control? And if someone struggles with portion, oh, and I also ask if you had a program that you could do from home in only 30 minutes, an effective program, would you do it? Like, so guys, any objection that people could give me before I give them all the details, I ask the questions. I cover my objections before I even ask for the sale, okay? Because I go into that phone call knowing all the answers to their questions because there's something psychological in the sales process that if you can get someone to say yes I think it's like six times in the sales process they're going to say yes at the end so I go into it already knowing all of this information 
It's like, yep, okay, you have problems with portion control. Yep, okay, you, you, you do something in 30 minutes. Yep, okay, you would, if I tell you, if you had um, a superfood protein shake that made it really easy to get all your micronutrients throughout the day, would that be convenient for you? Yep, okay, sounds great then this is the program for you because you never want someone to feel that you're just selling them product. You want them to feel that you've asked actually finding the program that's best for them. And how do you know you've done your job? By asking a ton of questions. That's what you do, okay? So if you need help at the end, closing the sale, guess what? You ask your coach for help. You ask your hope. You ask, if you're a new coach, once you get to that why, my personally sponsored coaches, Jill Eptoski, Trisha, and any experienced coach who's been coaching for a while, I trust can help you. So if you get a why, if someone says, um, I, I'm interested, and you ask why, and they message you back, and you have no idea what to say, what do I say next? Copy the response and text it or Facebook it to your coach and let us help you okay you're not expected to be an expert at first let us help you Eileen Ramos got to be an emerald because literally every time someone would message her a reply she would message me and she would like she would she would screen share it or she would you know, screenshot shoot it and then she would text it to me what do I say next what do I say next what do I say next so I want, let us help you get there. So lastly, guys, I just want, I know we're at time. So we just went through direct inviting. The other one is putting the net out there. Guys, we, we need to be more mindful about how we're putting ourselves out there on social media. I just want to put it out there. Um, stop the product vomit, okay? Maybe once a week, maybe twice a week tops. Put stuff on there with Shakeology or with the exact name of the program that you're doing or inviting people to do it. But if every single day it's you with your picture of Shakeology, like, look at me, I'm drinking Shakeology. It's so great. You're going to get annoying to people. Like, you need to add value. You need to add value in giving them, share stuff with your life, but don't just like, plaster Shakeology all over your page because people are going to be like, hello, she's trying to sell stuff. So share what you're doing without selling it on your page, okay? So a good invite on your page would be proof the product works, right? You've done the workout. You just fi finished the program, and you share your before and after pictures. Hey guys, look at this. I just I just accomplished this. I'm so excited. I want to help you do it too. You want to be a part of my next challenge group. Awesome. Great. If you're not someone maybe like Trisha, maybe you're someone like Trisha who doesn't see big changes in her body because she's already lean, like that's not a thing for her, then you share your challenger's success. In my last accountability group, I had I had shout out Shout out to so-and-so. She lost 15 pounds during our last accountability group. I'm so proud of her. Do you want to be the next person that I help? Are you interested? Guys, if you do some, a post like that once a week, that's enough for reals. That's enough. Share what you're doing. Add value. But private message people the invites. Once a week, maybe product stuff on your page, but that's enough, okay? Um, people are going to start dodging you because they're going to think that you're just trying to sell them things. But I have to be mindful of time. I've got to get somewhere. But before we're completely done, I am going to take everybody off mute and give you the, give option, you the option to do, to do. Um, does anybody have any questions? Anybody have any questions? Nope. Nope, we're all good. Have a fantastic weekend. Have a healthy and a happy Labor Day. FYI, guys, free day of yoga is nationwide this weekend. Um, it's usually on 
Saturday, Sunday, or Monday, depending upon your region. So I would get on there. I would Google free day of yoga in your city. There's going to be a place that you can go and take yoga for free this weekend. Go and take advantage of it. Share the love. If you're local in DFW, I am teaching up Fired Up Fitness on Monday morning. Get in the car! at 10 30 so you have an option to come take my class for free if you want to if you're local so you guys have a fantastic weekend love you so much thank you for being present bye and jill Liptoski, i'll call you as soon as i can okay bye girl